let's get to the Fab Five of it all. You talked yesterday at the uh, at the press conference about restoring banners. Obviously, you want to hang one of your own championship banner. Get uh, totally understand it. Restoring the banners that were taken down uh, from your tenure playing there is that is, is that already on the table with uh, with Ward Manuel and the school? Have you discussed that, Juwan? Well, we haven't discussed that day one. But that's one of the th you know, things that we're definitely going to sit down and talk about. Uh, I would like to see it happen someday. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like to see it happen someday soon. And I'm sure a lot of us do. Uh, that was some great years, uh, some years where, you know, some, not just the Fab Five, but all the guys that was a part of that run uh, contributed and made that day possible on 92 and 93, going into the NCAA championship. Uh, having a chance to compete against Duke uh, the first year, uh, came up short. Then the second year to repeat and go back and play against North Carolina and lose that game. But that was a lot of hard work, sweat, tears uh, put into those years. And then to follow behind that, we were one possession away in 1993 after Chris Webber had uh, declared himself for the NBA draft and was the number one pick that year. The four of us, myself, Jalen, Jimmy, and Ray uh, went to the lead eight and lost to Arkansas, a team that went on and won a championship. But we were one possession away of going back to the Final Four again. Um, we put in a lot of great years here at this university and represented this university uh, like like champs. With, well, with we dignity. we had Jalen on in hour number one, uh, Juwan, and and he he was talking about how your hiring makes the peace between the Fab Five and the school that m maybe needed to be made earlier or not, that, that that is now history. The mere fact that you have been placed in such a, an important role and position at a very important juncture, obviously with Beeline leaving, that, that that is now done. Would you agree with that assessment? Man, it's a beautiful time right now. <laughs> and... Uh... Jalen knows how special this moment is for me and my family. And, you know, he knows that I'm going to do wherever I can to represent this university, uh, to try to continue the winning tradition, and most importantly, uh, try to help uh, these relationships be restored. What about, and then I asked him directly point blank, blank about within the Fab Five itself, just the five of you guys. Uh, have you spoken to C Web about coming oh, yeah. back? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, C okay. Webb. That's my brother. I, C uh, C Webb has uh, been very active and want to see this thing happen. Where I become the next head basketball coach for the University of Michigan, and he's been super supportive from day one. And um, I, uh, he'll be back here supporting me, and I know it. I know it in, in his heart, and he's he's mentioned it. Well, yeah, I mean, he came on the show. And the the door is always welcome for him to come in anytime he want. Bring his family, everyone. They all welcome. Yeah, he said the day before you were even interviewed, uh, he came on this show and he pounded the table so hard for you, he put his fist through it. So, you know, I, I just want to make sure that everybody's cool. Him and Jalen are cool. And he's, Jalen said that he and c -Bub will have a conversation and everyone's going to come together and, and hang out and support you, Juwan. Do you feel like you need to play a role in that as sitting everyone down? Well, you know, they're men and they're, they, 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 they will figure it out together. Um, but all five of us will make sure that it happens because, you know, uh, the beauty of what we've been through in life, uh, getting back to when we were young kids and, the, and what the impact that we made on college basketball and how college basketball, how impactful it was for us. And it, but during those experiences, it helped us grow together. But more importantly, it taught us, you know, so many, like, you know, what life lessons uh, getting out of it was so, you know, creative and you know rewarding that you know whatever's happening and how older we're getting right now you know that stuff got to be put in the past and we got to move forward to the future and enjoy these years enjoy each day because you never know next day is not promised for more of the rich eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv for free on br live or download the rich eisen show app